Mr. Van Larchens went down inside the impeller shaft to try and find out what was blocking the pipeline. Yes? He didn't come back. Now the doctor and the boy have gone down there. Tell them what? Get them up at once! Stop the lift! I'm sorry, sir. It's too late. <laughs> Then why the sudden panic? I don't know. Harris was rather vague. Vague? He said he was taking over from Robson. I wouldn't call that vague. You've never met Robson, have you, Perkins? No, but When I've... you do, you'll realise he's not the sort of man one pushes around. Then what's all this about? Just an internal squabble, I'd say. Harris is a bright man. I sent him down here thinking he might gain from Robson's practical experience. Obviously, the two haven't hit it off together. So we're pouring oil. Politics? Let's go and see you, shall we? Oh, I do wish they'd hurry. Well, anyway, we can get them up, Chief. Well, we can't use the lift in case they want to get back in a hurry. But is the ladder inside the pipeline? Mr. Harry. Yes, what is it? Miss Megan Jones has arrived, sir. Oh, I see. Thank you. Chief, uh, you'd better come with me. I, I'm going to need some support when I talk to Megan Jones. All right. Well, what about Jamie and the doctor? There isn't a great deal we can do at the moment, I'm afraid. Oak, as soon as they signal, bring them up. And if there's any sign of trouble, come and get me. You could rely on that. Come on, Chief. Will they be all right? I mean, is it safe? Oh, yes, miss. Don't you worry about a thing. We'll take care of everything, won't we, Mr. Quill? <laughs> Creatures. What do you say to that, Perkins? Oh, well, it's true. Can't be serious, Mr. Harris. These creatures have been seen in the refinery itself. In by the some half-witted doctor and a couple of teenagers. And by me. You've seen them? Yes, Miss Jones. I have seen them. Harris? I understand your wife had some sort of accident. I know this must have been a considerable shock to you, and I fully understand... I'm lying understand. that I've been seeing things. Believe me, there are things you don't know. I know that throughout the southern region, receiving stations are working on emergency supplies. What are we going to do about it? Oh, at present, there's nothing we can do about it. One by one, we are losing contact with the rigs out at sea. Then I suggest you send someone out there to see what's going on. All right. Have I your permission to call out air defence? Certainly not. This is not a national emergency. Use the company helicopters. But you don't understand Can what's you going... please do as I say? Bryce? Yes, sir? Get me the helicopter hangar, please. Let me go, sir. Now, Mr. Harris, I think I'll have a talk with Chief Robson. Oh, I'm sorry. I think... Well, he's not very well. Not well? In what way? Something's happened to him. I... Oh, that's all I can tell you. Well, what? What's happened? I... I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, it's too dark, Jamie. Not the sound of ambulance. No train hanging about here. Oh, no, Jamie, let's get out of here. Oh, what's the FedEx crew calling ring D. FedEx crew calling ring D. Come in, please. Can you hear me? It's no use. There won't be a reply. Don't be a fool, man. We must keep trying. If there are men out on those rigs, there must be a reply. If, but we don't know. We've already lost contact with three of our drilling rigs. And you say there's definitely something down in the impeller shop blocking the flare. You've checked the impeller. Chief. Not the impeller. We checked every last nut and bolt. Whatever it is, it's down there in that shaft.
Where's Victoria? I don't know. No wonder they didn't see the lift stop. Signal, there's no one here. Victoria wouldn't desert us. No. Not unless she'd been persuaded to. Jamie, I think we'd better go and look for her. Come on. You go that way, I'll go this. All right. Foam and weed on all the rigs. According to the helicopter pilot, and no sign of life at all. It's so fantastic. What on earth are we going to do? Save the lives of the men on all the other rigs. How? Give me permission to evacuate them. What? And they blow every one of the rigs to pieces right out of the sea. You must be out of your mind. Miss Jones, you really can't agree to such a thing. The minister. So we have to. The men's lives are more important than any one of those rigs. The minister would never that agree. That is Perkins. You ask me to destroy years of hard work, skill, and government money like that? I'm asking you to destroy this evil that's in the sea before it's too late. Bomb the rigs, I implore you. No! No! Never! You leave those rigs alone, they're mine! They're mine, I tell you, mine! What? What's the matter with you? Can't you see? They're getting at me. They're mine. I built them my own flesh and blood, they're mine. They're my life! They want to destroy everything. They think in that way they can destroy me. We won't allow. We? Who, Robson, who? Hmm? Hmm. My... I don't know. My... Chief! Chief. Are you all right, Robson? Yes, I'm all right. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Robson. Let him go. The strain must have affected his mind. Oh, it's not that, I can assure you. Doctor. And who are you? Well, Doctor, I'd almost forgotten. What about Van Lutyens? Did you... I'm afraid not. Have you any idea what happened? Yes, Jamie and I nearly joined him. The hole at the bottom of the impeller shaft is, is covered in weed and foam. What happened to Mr. Van Lutyens? And Mr. Robson? I'm afraid that Mr. Robson is being controlled by some force that emanates from this weed. That's incredible. That's what we've said so far about everything the doctor has told us. But each time he's been proved right. I think it's about time we started to believe him. All right. The least I can do is listen. Victoria! Victoria, it's me, Jamie. Where are you? Victoria! You think this seaweed, or whatever it is, is a living organism capable of exercising telepathic control? Yes. But seaweed's a vegetable matter, everyone knows that. This is a struggle for power, Miss Jones. Matter over mind. I'm convinced that all these people, Mrs. Harris, Chief Robson, Mr. Van Lutens, have all been overcome in this struggle, and goodness knows how many more people. But where does the weed get this intelligence from, Doctor? From the human brain, it's parasitic. You mean... The creatures have taken over human beings. I don't know, but they've certainly become part of the colony. Mr. Harris, control ring. Control. Yes, that's the one, is it? Mr. Harris, for pity's sake, they're all around us. What are you? What's happening? Please, please. They're everywhere. They're all gone. They're every and every place. Mr. Harris. That's the... That's the... Can you hear this? Get us out of here. Somebody get us out of here. Two days, two. control ring. Come in, please. Come in, please. Victoria! 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 Back to square one. Oh, she must be somewhere. 